Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well, last episode, after uncovering the Wisp's identity, we found Sanqua to be having another issue with strange happenings in a house at midnight, heading within to discover the cute culprit, the Grateful Pichu. We then finally got our third promotion, allowing the creation of Great Balls, before reporting to the commander about our Cleaver encounter, bringing an end to another day. But before we could go to sleep, we were intercepted by Vessa, who handed us the odd keystone and told us of 107 spirits that needed to be gathered, finding our first before we went to bed. Waking to a commotion, we met with another Another member of the Diamond Clan, Arezu, but before we found out why she was in the village, we took on more requests, bringing a Baneri to the photographer, taking on another balloon popping challenge, and getting another Geodude a job to expand our farmland, before giving some kids a few Pokeballs as we now continue on. Nice, quick gains. Oh my, you... You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel the same aura from you, as if you could become true friends of a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. Hope you come show me sometime. Measuring your compatibility. A strong enough bond with. I mean, I'll select Quilava. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandma was precisely like you. The type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Alright, Quest 28 was easy to complete. A rare candy was obtained. And now Bellamy is the guy I can check my friendship with. You know all those side quests we said, oh my goodness, there's so many? They're all done. Or at least done to the point where we can actually do them. I guess that worked out. That was a quick sweep, if anything. Picked up. At the very least. Anything else I want? Chuck in. I'll keep my glob balls. The balls of glob. Come with me. I will show you the balls of glob. I'll sell the golden nugget. Then we'll buy some more item space while we go in and find our next thing. I would like to not buy something. I would like to sell stuff to you. Thank you very much. Here, some gold. Gold! Just so I can get a guy to tell me how to move an item space. Pokemon Nobles are seriously powerful Pokemon that protect the Diamond and Pearl Clans. It's incredible to think you're even stronger than they are. Wasn't a bad sweep at all. Okay, annoying mister. So I have some space in my satchel with a packing trick. Oh my god, 6,000. How many can I ideally buy? Like, three? To give myself a little bit of spending money? Yeah, three. I mean, if you wanted to get it earlier, all you have to do is go about traveling and trying to pick up wood. Bait the Poké Dolls. And sort things out from there. Seems like the best option, doesn't it? Nothing on that. I speak to... You, though, don't I? Research the noble Pokemon too. Me being the survey call must be tough. No, not you. Or Pessel. Who is it I to speak to? Find now about what is it? The the herb. The free leaved herb. Ah, so it's come to Ursaluna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adaman or Elida, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Alezu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adaman's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Asuna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? 
Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded. Ahem. <clears throat> Bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders. Meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Alessandria. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Marlins. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. The next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Marlins. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher. Steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Marlins on your own. Here is what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Marlins known as the Solassian Ruins. That is where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. Off on another adventure. No extra quests seem to be popping. Yet. Let's check out my... Uh, no, no, not that. Missions and requests. We're only up to eight on the list. I don't know how, of course, big the list will be. Fortunately, Big Boozel is different than just Boozel. Speak with Yota to learn more about his request. Ask Anise about the materials they needed for the medicine. Oh, she's actually all the way down there, is she? Okay. I don't know where Yota is. The ancient art. Ah, oh, yes. The ancient art of item origami. It is truly a skill. Wondrous. You see what happens is. I wonder if at some point he's just like, if you get this hook here, you can just add more pouches to your bag. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. A bigger bag. Not what's going on here. A bigger bag made more sense. <laughs> oh, you're right. Miss Cleaver, I hope you're not getting involved with risky survey work. I like they even had her bend down to speak to them. Ah, oh, hello, dearly. Shinon sent you out searching for a medicinal plant, did she? That'll be our freely little helper then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mylands. Or Shinon will be get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, dearly. Okay then. Pokemon with free leaves in the Crimson Mylands. Now we learn more about this Ponyta. I'll just randomly dive across the thing and everyone will be like, what? <laughs> What's going on with this person? Do, 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 do. Uh, party grains. The wisps. I've gathered one. You get a twice spice radish for doing it. Or at least it might be the next one. I guess it's 106 wisps now, not 107. You're over there, are you, Utah? Can't get through there. The pile of mattress freely isn't the taste bit enough to make you dizzy. Don't worry, we'll get it. It's a Pokemon. I'm just going to literally pluck its head. Have fun eating a Pokemon now. Tasty Pokemon. You hear about my Ponyta request, right? Glad I have some help at last. Here's the problem. Ponyta like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. They're so different than the other Ponyta. It's a little scary to be honest. When I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it. So we agreed to have the Ponyta surveyed and see what's what. We head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange Ponyta for us. It would really help us out. Now which... So it must be uh, Alpha. Or is it? Ain't that the question? Alright, so let's head on out. See about catching this Ponyta. But first of all, laser waiting. What's up, Ray? Hey, Alessandria, might help me train a bit. You wanna fight? Sure. That's the stuff. I feel a lot better going out researching on my own if I can beat you. Tell me you've got more than one Pokemon. Oh, he's got two! He's got a Mime Junior! <laughs> It's level 19. What shall I use? It's 
getting closer to me. Agile style didn't work. I'll just use a normal silver win. Not enough. Is it like Psychic Fairy? I can't remember. Or is it normal at this point? You can't just get me like that. No, 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 no. That's not how things work. Also, the fact that you actually got me quite nicely there is annoying. It's a lot of damage for a Mime Junior from, like, physical. It's Pikachu. What shall I do to wreck him? Good question, actually. Can't even quick attack Agile. Do you reckon he'll be able to take out my Cyber? That was not enough. So he's gone in for the Paralysis. That could be problematic. Do I believe... We can, we can get two attacks here. Get the critical. So it seems that even with Agile style, even though it's using extra PP... Oh, I actually got it. Cyber shrugged it off completely. That works. Battle decided. Oh boy, Pikachu's going to be angry with me again. That's for the Thunder Wave, though. Just didn't work. But we can also still modify our kind of stuff with that. We don't have to go last because we're paralyzed. Seems right that the one who could defeat a lord would beat me too, I guess. Thanks for that battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. Ah, I've discovered one. Stealth sprays. One hoppo berry and three bug wart blooms. <laughs> you know, lately these space-time distortion things have been popping up here and there. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them. It turned out there were legions of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it out alive. Space-time distortions? You be careful around those distortions, all right? Anyway, time to make for the Myland's camp. Oh, yes. Randomly now space-time distortions happen. Sure. When you say strange Pokemon, what do you really mean? Strong Pokemon. Does make me wonder. Alright, let's go have a look around for this Ponyta. See, this is the thing. If I could... Chuck this stuff... Well, I'm going along normally. On the back of our horsey friend. It would solve a lot of my issues, to be honest. Oh, shoot! Look, you! <laughs> you weren't supposed to get into this fight. I mean, to be honest, it's just better I run. <laughs> I wasn't trying to throw that at you. Jinx, you get to be fine. That's what I wanted. This ponytail's over there. Well, at least you can kind of like duck in and out of the form. Once you set out, you can just kind of go back in. I guess that's the ideal way to travel around then. Hey, where's the Rapidash? I mean, I guess it's raining. Fire Pokemon aren't out because it's raining? That's legitimately what's happening, isn't it? They're gone. Or it might be because of whatever's going on over here. I'm soaked too. Probably shouldn't go in with a cipher to this battle when I think about it. Ooh!
It's an unusual ponytail. It's shiny! Shh, go away. Face the other way. No, 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 not this way. The other way. Oh, whatever. It's a great ball. It'll make it. It's not shiny, it's blue. You caught the unusual ponytail. Time to report back to Yona in the village. That is one curious bidoof. What is your problem, sir? <laughs> Do you want to get caught? Take me away from this place. I hate it here. Should I look to catch? Don't see me. Actually, he does straight up see me. I try to catch some of these. <gasps> you get that was a great ball. How dare! Officer oh, Bidoof was checking me out, was he? Maybe one of those is a higher height. What the hell? <laughs> I guess it was night time. I'm out of here. Catch a few boozles. Oh, I can swim. No, I can't swim. That's not swimming. Okay, well, I didn't get knocked out, but I can't cross the water like that. Seems that that is not an option. Maybe I should try and catch that guy. Oh, there's some more people. Turns out... That was the most, like, silly attempt at swimming I've ever seen, to be honest. Right, let's go return that. Now that I've got a few more boozles, I can check them to see if any of them are 2-8. I'll pick up some more tumble stones there. Let's get out of here. Like, I could fast travel, or I could just go. Could just tear on through. Why do I have to talk to you to get the Pokemon in the... I don't even know. Listen here, you. I'm going to show you these Pokemon. One of them good, one of them shiny. Free shiny! Alright, Cypher got maxed out, did it? The large, wickedly sharp Cypher on its forearms are truly fierce weapons. Players attempt to flee are unfailing thwarted by this Pokemon's nimble action. Did I already read that one? Probably. <laughs> There's no way for me to tell. I just keep filling out more data on them. Off to the village we go. I love how everyone's first reactions. Oh, I can swim. Wait, I can't. <laughs> well, it looked like it was fine. I was like, oh, I'm in. I didn't expect someone. I, I, to be honest, I expect someone to put in a more effort than the character actually did. Don't know if that's rude or not. <laughs> but it wasn't that far away from like the shore. 
expect a bit more flailing. A severe lack of effort going on there. 2-5. 2-4. 2-3. Looks like I just have to catch an alpha. That might actually just be straight up the answer. Or if not, I can just catch more of them in between. To get the 2-8. You've always wanted a shiny pota ponyta? Or well, seems, play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Here's one for you for free. Unless we have to give it away, of course. I see you call that strange ponyta. You survey core people, folks sure don't mess around. You know, a friend of mine from Gala was surprised when he saw the ponyta herds out in the field and couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by, but now that I know some ponyta have blue flames, it's not such a stretch to think there might be all sorts of them out there. I'm not just talking about Ponyta, mine. Who knows how many differently colored Pokemon there are in the world? I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying his level best to research them all. Peculiar Ponyta, I do get to keep it. Not taking it away from me this time. Right, let's head towards our actual mission. Let's head out back into the worlds again. If we accidentally bump into one of these space-time distortions. <laughs> That had been so forth mentioned to us. These boozles, though, they're a bit nightmarish. I collected one wisp. So yeah, it does leave 106 more wisps. Four more get a reward. How many wisps are left? 106 more wisps to go, guys. I didn't see anyone I was gallivanting around that time. That's for sure. I don't know whether to go fill them or anything, but I know I can cross for a bit. And I know now that because we need to get these wisps, either I've got to be there at night. Or something else. So, our actual destination then is marked on the map. I'm going to change it to night. Just in case these wisps only come out at night and I can see them. My Pokemons are happy and healthy again. To be honest, this is quite a light night, but I'm assuming there's enough sources of it's a lot of stars in the sky. Drifloons appear even up here. Angry boys, the Drifloons are. Oh, I did. I guess I did stop them from taking away that guy, the kid, and after all, would have got him too if it wasn't for you. Yeah, maybe these things are a lot harder to see than I would have thought. I don't know what these were, but they're just two sprouts. Medicinal leaks all about. Oh, wisps, where are you? Oh, there's one. Okay. I don't know how clearly how easy they'd be to see in the daytime, then. Oh, we've got straight up there. Nice. Oh, it tells you how many there are in each area, too. 19 more in this area alone. I wonder what distance we can see them at, too. Isn't that the question? And if they're on, like, weird out-of-the-way locations. I'm definitely going to, like, fall off a cliff on this guy in the future. A hundred percent. Weird deer and me are going to plummet to our doom. We will plummet to unconsciousness. Which way am I going? just a matter of time. Unless it's just straight up not a marker. 
I have no clue where I'm going. Sudden realization. I have absolutely no clue where I'm going. Head to Slurpy Room. Found the Crimson Myelins. Well, I need to find the Crimson Myelins. And either it's like over here, but it's most likely to be like over here. Do I travel down this way? Is there a bridge over here via the Windswept Ruin place? Well, Max has lost satchels over there. Finding the next direction to go would be nice. <laughs> Right, which way is it to Max's Lost Satchel? Go down there again. That's Parasect again. Well, that's how turned around I got? Yikes. I know where I am now. These wisps look incredibly hard to find. Working out how far they render away from will be quite a boon. There's one. Eighteen wisps remain. Coming for your satchel, man. Okay, there's a wisp over there. How the f But I have to learn to swim. Or... The other very obvious option. Is there any crossing I can do? That's Nabra! Oh, he gone. Well, that's cool I found a place you can find an Abra. But if I circle around after going a little bit far away from him. Doesn't look like they respawn that fast. Just trying to find the right possible crossing point. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that easy to find the next destination. Now you can actually see the wisps from absolutely miles away. There's a wisp. How do I get to it? That's a Snorlax! <laughs> Doesn't look like he finds it very easy to see me, though. It's level 45. Alpha Snorlax. Oh, shoot, he found me. I'm out. I've somehow got to find my way up there. Luxios. I'm about to get caught, I <laughs> Suddenly, Sam found himself in a scary place full of higher level Pokemon. That's a blooming Kadabra. Hmm, I might have dumbed by coming out this way. Found a wisp, though. Where am I? So, I'm at Sand Gem Flats. I crossed from up here. We barely explored this place. There's a lot going on. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this is a blooming hell for Alec is that behind me. <laughs> yes, this is indeed the risk of open world. I feel like I've got into a high level zone. And when I say high level, I mean quite high level. What level is this dude here? 16. So, okay, some of them aren't, some of them are. Some of the things here are kind of scary. But I think I should probably find my way to do that after getting those couple of wisps. I should probably... End the episode here. Because I got myself into a scary, scary place. Full of Alpha Snorlaxes, Alakazams, and more. That's a Thunderstone from there, so that was worth getting that. But the place seems uh, a little dangerous. So we will continue on to our next destination, if I can find the way. There's no real marker on the... Oh, it's over there. Never mind. It's, it's, it's over there. It's like over here somewhere. I found the marker! I found the way! But we'll continue on to there next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Sand Gem Flats is not the place to be. What level is the Alakazam? Why do you hate me? It's level 60! <laughs> So now I've got to run away again. It was level 60. And now I've got to get myself out of this location ASAP. So I'll see you guys next time for more. Bye bye. <laughs>